All right, Warren, you can say hi. Hi, Warren. Hey, Winnie. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Your phone line's not too clear. It oh, isn't. Be okay. No, it's very scratchy. Are you, are you on a speakerphone or something like that? I am on a microphone, but... Um... Is there any chance you can just talk into the phone? It's, it's not very... Not yeah. a clear line. All right, uh, Winnie, let's just use the computer audio. Okay, let me see. Okay, how's it better? Um, yeah, it's a little bit better. We'll, just, we'll go with that. Hopefully it'll be okay, all right? Hopefully. All right. All right. All right, so that's okay. Um, so we, we'll be ready in, in about two minutes. I'm going to just put you on hold, all right? Hang on. Thanks, Warren. Wow, so many technical difficulties today. Number one record for Otis Redding and sitting on the dock of the bay. It's 10 away from 9 o'clock. Joining me right now is Winnie's son. Winnie has many, many years of experience in the financial services industry. She serves on the CNBC Financial Advisor Council. Also been selected as Investment News 20 Women to Watch. And we're going to talk a little bit about that end-of-year financial checklist with Winnie this morning. And Winnie, good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning, Warren. It's good to be here with you. Great to have you with us today, and congratulations on all your work. So, of course, it's been quite a year for consumers and also small businesses, a bit uh, confusing, a bit unsettled with COVID-19. So at this point, what are we thinking about the economy? How's the economy looking, Winnie? Well, Warren, we are certainly at that stage. We need to get beyond the pandemic, but the economy has, we need to get through this time and the pandemic is behind us, I think you're going to find that a lot of elements that are doing quite well. 
So, Winnie, your phone connection is really not good at all. I hope we can hear you okay through this important information. So, you know, with the end of the year planning and so forth, talk about some of the first steps we need to take as consumers and business people. Yes, well, as the year comes to a close, it's a great time to take a look at your finances you how you can maximize your benefits. I appreciate tools that make it easy to organize and see a snapshot of your money. SoFi Money is a cash management account available through digital personal finance company SoFi and they have they're sharing two features, vaults and and roundups. Remember the old envelope listing system? It's been given a complete digital makeover with vaults. They help you to set your spending and savings. You're able to earmark funds to go into different vaults for your savings goals, such as saving for a house or car, setting up for an emergency fund, or really any category of your choosing, maybe even a vacation fund. Uh, there's also a built-in savings rate, which is six times the national average interest rate on spending accounts. And let's talk about their newest feature called Roundups. This is where they'll round up your transactions to the first dollar and deposit a different into one of your savings vaults. You're going to like this feature because it's painless and seamless savings. You don't need to save, you save as you spend. It virtually, it's virtually invisible to you. And starting on November 23rd, for a limited time, just in time for the holidays, they will even match your roundups and deposit them into your vault so that you could potentially save twice as much. So, Winnie, possibly maybe you can give us a little more information on other benefits and savings? Sure. Well, for many companies and employees, this is also open enrollment time. And that means it's a season to decide on health benefits for the next year. United Healthcare is reminding people to look for well being programs that may reward you for moving. For some plans, United Healthcare may enable eligible enrollees to earn incentives for meeting certain activity targets. This means incentives not just for walking, but starting next year also included what they call alternate activities, which include cycling, elliptical, and swimming. With a compatible workable device like my Apple Watch here, United Healthcare Motion members who devote 30 minutes to one of these activities and meet the program's other daily activity targets may earn over dollars per year in financial incentives. And maybe you could tell our listeners where they can go for a little more information on all this? Yes. Uh, for more information, Warren, you want to check out dailylounge.com for advice and tips. Perfect. And, and just give us that one more time? Sure. It's dailylounge.com. Perfect. Winnie, thanks so much for being with us today for the information. Appreciate that. Uh, Winnie Sun, financial advisor, with a few tips uh, as we take a look at our end-of-year financial checklist. It's coming up on four minutes away.